Why I'll just hit record and like I'll I'll let's riff Mike, with you, you guys. Okay. You I'll want. riff with you guys a little bit and then and then we'll uh Do you edit it? I'll or do you need me to edit it? Oh. No, do you edit it? You should just rep- we should just switch. <laughs> yeah, man. Why are you offering Mike all these things? Yeah. Oh, well, he's at the yeah, you, he's coming you to the can, house. You can, you can edit you my show. Trigger. You're recording my show and you can yeah, edit it. Yeah, you I think Mike is going to say amazing. no. <laughs> oh, I don't know what you usually do. I'm That's just like I'm you. just trying to phase Matt Anderson out of my life, honestly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, why why isn't he here? Uh, he's working. Oh, all right. Yeah, so I was like, let me let me I'm like, let me figure this out. And he almost didn't let me. He almost didn't let me record with you guys. Because I think I he knows. Say, man. Because he gets a percentage of my Patreon every yeah. month, and I'm trying to figure out how to how to give him a zero percent. I'm trying. Like, staying at the job but still doing interviews. Yeah. You know I'm, tr- I mean? I'm really. I'm trying to figure out how to eliminate him. He's gonna have to edit this episode, by the way. He's yeah. just gonna hear I mean, about. Yeah, this is one of the more sadistic <laughs> things you could do to a person. <laughs> Make him edit his own, yeah, man, his I, own death. I'd like, like dig you, your own grave. I'd like yeah. you to find yeah. out you're fired by editing your firing. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine. We're all more just, fucked up. Thing that that poor piece of shit's gonna be on the street <laughs> yeah. begging for money. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna be podcastless, and it's gonna be awesome. Damn, <laughs> isn't that the guy that used Mike. to do the sit down? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's Greg Stone and Anthony DeVito that we're talking to today. Thanks for being here. Oh, um, I can't believe we're doing that. I don't know how easy it is to pr- produce a podcast. I thought <laughs> it was rocket science. All you do is stick your mini SD card in the thing. Yeah, yeah man. I don't even need him here, it's but then who's going to suck all the energy out of the show? <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Mike, if that's your podcast, because I've never listened to it, uh, but if that's your podcast where you just go to other friends' houses and talk shit, shit about shit on your producer, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just a bad idea. You have to you have to be a friend and own a Zoom. <laughs> yeah. I'm like where's the episode? <laughs> that's yeah, great. Well, he he gets forty percent of my Patreon. I mean, that's that's kind of that's kind of high, right? When I'm I'm the well, yeah, but he's like he's the co-host. Uh, I mean, I got ten. You know, yeah, I know. This guy was he? Who is this guy? <laughs> yeah, cut him out. No, yeah, he's. A, I'm college, just kidding. I don't know. College credit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah. All you give. I'll say this: we only. Have I know. Three what am I here. even working with him for? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean he's. No, I mean he's. He's a. He's a great. He's a great producer, and like the stuff always goes out on time. But there's something like you know I'll read Reddit, yeah. and people will oh. kind of shit on him in Reddit, and then he'll <laughs> pop up and be like, Ah, oh, fuck you guys. <laughs> but it's like, it yeah, him. but Matt, this m- could be a valid criticism of you, and this could be a chance to. This guy calling you a faggot. It could be. A, <laughs> It could yeah. be a chance for There's you to grow. There's a lot of wisdom in that. Yeah. 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 This could be a chance for you to grow. <laughs> I guess I'll just work on not being a faggot. Uh, <laughs> uh, did I introduce you guys yet? I don't know. Who cares? Well, did, we're talking did. to Anthony DeVito and Greg Stone, uh, two two guys who um, they uh, are taking the comedy <laughs> world by storm. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Two yeah. guys who are on the same page as you. Yeah. yeah. You guys are you guys are two people who like everybody in New York. Like everybody says that you're you're funny and you're great and we were just we were just bitching about how like we, we were just talking about dying with dignity um, <laughs> yeah. before we started the show and how it, yeah. yeah and I don't I don't want to be I, like I hate I hate listening to podcasts and people are like bitching uh-huh. about their careers yeah, so we yeah. won't do that too much but it's like but it, it's it's beyond it's beyond bitching it's kind of like I, I'm just at a point where like I want to live I feel like fucking right. um who's that I feel like Terry Shivo sometimes <laughs> where it's like just let me pull the plug on this fucking <laughs> floundering career you know what I mean <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, just, I don't want to die in the middle of an omelet at a residence inn. Yeah, no, <laughs> like, you, you probably will. I mean, there's a million ways. Yeah, yeah there's a million ways that comics. A lot of com. I don't know. Do comics die in sad ways? I guess. I don't know. Well, I've, but but yeah. But I'm, I'm saying that there's a lot of ways to die on the road or in some sure sad situation. That, <laughs> yeah. 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 So, featuring um, for a YouTube act. I, who books that? <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to change all That's the okay. wires. I actually unplugged Anthony in the middle of one of his sentences, so you, I think we missed a word. Okay. But you it sounds wanna, good. Yeah, you might want to keep Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all right. So you um, hear that, Matt? Your, your job is safe because <laughs> turns out Greg is 
<laughs> slightly less incompetent than you are. <laughs> Just making fun of him, <laughs> losing his job. Um, yeah, I mean, I think about yeah. it all the time, though. Just like dying. Yeah. Like, I don't really care about dying with dignity because I'll be dead. I don't really care. But I'd like to have a little mm, bit of that's money. That's what everyone who shits their pants before they die <laughs> thinks. Because I think it, but when you shit your pants before you die, you know you're shitting your pants. <laughs> well, I just want you know yeah. you're dying. I just want dignity now. I want you know, I just now. want a little bit yeah, of dignity, I want now. dignity now. You know, like if I get a little bit of yeah. money now and then I die, it's like I died because, you know, my head fell off or something and people yeah. were laughing at me. I don't give a yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. But I like the people not to laugh at me on the street now. Yeah. You know, so we'll work towards that. There is nothing dignified about this life. I thought there would be. I thought it would be really? cool. I thought it'd be cool to like be a comedian. I thought that was like a like a stat like a yeah. not not a status thing, but I thought you would get a little respect for that. But no one. What do you think cares. there'd be more of? Um, just just like feeling like a person. Like, <laughs> feeling like yeah, a yeah low bar. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought I'd be famous. I was like, I remember saying, if you don't have a late night. Or if you're not like famous by thirty, yeah, you're gonna quit. Well, the thing is, Michelle Wolf loves you guys, so as long as she stays alive, <laughs> yeah, we're okay. She yeah, we're keeping her. She eats pretty well. Yeah, uh, she, yeah, yeah. So I think yeah. we'll be fine. You yeah. guys gotta run with her. You gotta come <laughs> in her on this so she doesn't get eaten by wolves, and then, and then she's gonna get attacked by wolves, and one of you's gonna have to throw yourself <laughs> at the wolf. The amount of, the amount of times uh, so far, like on the road, that uh, we've seen Michelle. Uh, like on the street during the yeah. day where she's like, I don't know, whatever mile that she's on oh, for running. Yeah. Yeah. And then she passes Greg and I on those stupid bird scooters. <laughs> yeah, <we're laughs> scooter just, around. It's just... Uh, oh, like a Segway? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Those little electric scooters. Yeah. They're just so smiling, funny. half drunk. Uh, yeah. Couldn't be more content while she's totally working hard. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, oh, that's why you're there. Yeah. And yeah. that's why I'm here. No, and that's the crazy thing. She's such a, she's always been such a fucking hard worker. Like, yeah, like yeah. I, when I first had seen her at Mike's, she would just tweet constantly. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Michelle, it's just comedy. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, man. The three of, yeah, exactly. What do you think you're going to be at the correspondence like... dinner someday? <laughs> yeah. And the president's going to be <laughs> tweeting at, about you? <laughs> yeah, put your phone down. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. Like, if we could just do half of that. That maybe we could just get people to come to shows. Yeah, you know what I mean. I just was, half. I, of, just I just want people that. to come to shows. Yeah, and I just want to make a little bit of money. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want fucking the president tweeting at me. But that's always a weird thing on the road too. When you're opening for somebody or with somebody, you never know. Like, well, should we be hanging out? Should I be making them <laughs> yeah. laugh right now? Should I be yeah. getting him his coffee? You know. <laughs> Like it's not servitude. <laughs> it kind of is. Should I be washing master's underwear? Yeah. Uh. No, but there's there's moments that I've had with Joe's where I'm like, I, I would kill for you. Yeah. <laughs> I would have to go like I would full like, Italian yeah. right out of the gate. <laughs> say what? Say the word. I'll take him out. Yeah. <laughs> I would, I'm like if if he if he called me and asked me like it was like hi this underage whore that I <laughs> yeah. killed in a game. She, I remember she was laughing. Yeah, I'm like I have to do it or I'm gonna be driving a truck. We were at this bar and Michelle got into it with some lady. Like this lady was just being stupid. It was something that yeah. usually I would just go, oh this would two seconds I wouldn't even give a shit. You can't talk to her that way. But then literally I'm sitting yeah. there. And Michelle just like wouldn't back down. I'm like, oh Anthony and I are gonna have to fight all of these people. Yeah. Like no, it's just like our whole party. It's like, well, that's what we got to do. We got to fight all these people. Yeah. Because yeah. we need our, it's like, I feel like it was like a wedding party. Where was it? What, what city were you in? Dallas. Dallas. We, so we could got shot. And it was like a drunk uh -huh. wedding party. Yeah. And, uh, well, we were also kind of drunk too. Yeah. But that was, that definitely, it, that, and it was also, I don't know, maybe there is something to just like being on the road with Michelle. Yeah. yeah. There's like a part of me that's like, we're her muscle. <laughs> just Even feel though, like, right. you know, that's how I feel yeah. with, with Colin too. <laughs> I got to protect him and I got to protect his girlfriend. <laughs> and really, muscle is just throwing yourself in front of, <laughs> yeah. letting someone beat the shit out of you while he runs yeah. away. <laughs> that's really yeah, diversion. All, uh, security, like whatever that security detail is, yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah. it's a body that's worth less than whoever the other person yeah. is. That's right, and that's it. Fucked that's up. why I believe yeah. in socialism. No one, no comic should have that level of power. There should be uh. three or four Michelle Wolves that <laughs> rotate. <laughs> you know, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah because the thing too is like when someone gets that big and they're touring a lot, they start. Uh, you know, they'll, they'll use other people, and right. there's no rhyme or reason to who they're using and sure. why they didn't call you that week or whatever. Oh yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I just imagine Greg like it, ha losing <laughs> half his body because a wolf attacked him, <laughs> and then his, his, her using someone more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like this fucking bullshit. Oh, right. Yeah, because like and she's <laughs> like, yeah, but then she like won't look at him because he's yeah. handicapped and she can't be seen around weakness. So she's like, she's like, hi, Greg. 
<laughs> she kind of like doesn't. Oh, hi. Yeah. I got to eat that's my fucking like, wolf for you. That's what you fucking yeah. cunt. That's Greg and I's Rocky montage. Yeah. It's all to get back to shape just yeah. to open for her in uh, uh, Chattanooga. Yeah. 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 I'd love to just not be on the road, though, too. That's the thing I'm starting to learn. What I just uh, don't want to be. What yeah. makes you hate it so much? Well, you know, I don't like getting on airplanes. Yeah, the flying. I don't like getting on airplanes. I don't like packing. I don't like <laughs> not being able to be near my action figures. Okay. I like all of that. You can bring this them. This is clearly on the road. Greg has a Very lot of weird. action figures. This is clearly like a like a comforting. This, is this your only your room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, T yeah. doesn't come in here. What is she gonna do? No, because I got my own office now too, and it's pretty fucking. It's it's nice. It's fucking great. So that's something. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah been, right. Look like, at this. We're doing all right. This is a little piece of heaven in here. I used right. to share a bedroom with Anthony. Also, we all my listeners like share a trailer with their parents. <laughs> yeah. so I can't brag. Yeah. I, I got to not, <laughs> you know, make me feel bad. by this tire. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. I don't know. A nine to five. Like, even if your comedy isn't going well, if you're making more than you were stocking shelves at the Apple store, like, I'm happy. Like, yeah. I'm happy. That's because it's like, fuck it. You yeah. know, that was miserable. Yeah. That shit was yeah, miserable. Yeah. 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 Not that it's like just, miserable. Just it was miserable whole... because I wanted to do something else. I just want to offend anybody out there who stocks shelves. God bless you if you find your love somewhere else. No, God bless you. But you want it's it's the, it's the hope of. I think Oscar Wilde said we're all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. So you just want yeah, you just want to like keep your eye on something. Yeah, yeah. And it's just it always it always whole... will never not make me laugh when you pull quotes like that. <laughs> I know that was Being who you are. Me. Yeah, because <laughs> you always forget that Mike has that in yeah. it. You know what I mean. <laughs> Like you're a, a dirtbag, you know, all you know, uh, you know, uh, garbage man, yeah. however you want to portray yourself to the world. Yeah. But then I always forget that, like, you know, things like that. Well, see, that's the well, thing. This, ep- this episode is going to be about child, the childhoods of different mobsters. And I was thinking about this today. When I was a kid, I was like, I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn, but I was a fucking genius. I was a genius <laughs> kid. I was talking when I was yeah. two. I could recite the whole uh, night, uh, night before Christmas poem when I was at like two years old. Like, yeah, yeah. Whole, that's what my mom said. Anyway, I was very <laughs> She said she was just lying. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, thing to do. Uh, and then I, she was like, "You, you picked up on like Bert and Ernie's humor, you know?" She's like, <laughs> like, I had a sharp sense of humor. So I don't know. I don't know what the hell happened, public school or whatever. But that is the thing. I, I, that's the thing I like about comics is comics are very smart, but there's no, yeah. there's no application or. Or uh, that's a social th- status or anything. No, even though we we should, you know, I could be a senator if I wanted to. Yeah, I could be like a local representative, <laughs> yeah. who's like blue collar and like yeah. talk shit yeah. about Whole Foods, you know. Yeah, and all the socialists, I get the socialist vote. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I always think about with like with comedy, like is like. We are all like these representatives of different like people, mm-hmm. but because I think if you're a good comic, you're usually smart. Yeah. Like there's something, so it's like you're the best version of the New Jersey garbage garbage man, yeah. fucking you know whatever. It's like right. he's the representative of that. You know, it's like um, the fat action figure yeah. representative. You I'm know, like the best version of yes. Jersey garbage. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we're all playing at this 100%. higher level of like, yeah, yeah. I'm here to like I'm speaking for all the garbage men who can't really speak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So, um, so this is a, a crime podcast. Um, so, what I wanted to do is I wanted to like bring up some childhoods of different monsters, mm-hmm. and we mm-hmm. can like you know riff on that a little bit, <clears throat> as long as it's sort of you know kind of related to. Um, but do you guys know about Tommy Patera? You probably have to explain most of this to me. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Tommy Patera was uh, so there's this thing called the mafia <laughs> that, that all our dads belong to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, you, guys are, real- you guys are both yeah Jersey. Jersey Wops. My dad, uh-huh. we had these people in our family, so my dad was very adamant about like keeping us away from all of them. Yeah. So like I don't, I didn't, okay. I wasn't allowed to watch The Sopranos. Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't uh-huh. get to like see a lot of mob One movies. Of those families. Yeah, my yeah, my yeah. dad was like just super scared that he'd be like, oh, I like this, and then call the wrong uncle, right. and then I'm fucking out. You know. Totally. Yeah. That's so I couldn't watch The Godfather. Same reason. Yeah, I didn't watch The Godfather till like three years ago. But your your mom didn't let you watch it. My mom didn't let me watch it. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah, my dad it, was weird. Yeah, about it. I guess yeah, like for. I, you know, for like Italians or whatever, they think like it's like, oh, you could just easily go that route. Yeah. It's like so easily. Like, <laughs> yeah. you just wander into the wrong pork yeah, store and yeah. then you're like, yeah, yeah. you come yeah, out like yeah, you, yeah. you had committed a murder. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, no. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I would We're think so there's steps accepted. along It's the like way. our sickle cell. Everybody gets it. The disease we're susceptible to is, yeah, becoming criminals. Did I ever tell you about that uncle I had? Never tell you that uncle no. story? No. That uh, I'm at my dad's house in the Bronx when I was like little, like. 
12 or whatever, 11, I don't know. This I walk, middle of the night, I hear a noise. I come out. My dad is sitting with this uncle. I remember his name or whatever. And he's got a scar on his neck from his ear to his throat. And uh, my dad's talking to him. I could see something's kind of weird. And he goes, hey, Greg, this is your uncle, you know, whatever. And I was like, hey. And I go, uh, <laughs> how'd you get the scar? Mm. And he goes, I'm supposed to. I got bit by a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> Just started laughing. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, well, I, I was a kid. I thought he was real. Yeah. yeah, a fucking dolphin stuck up behind him trying to slice his throat. Yeah. And then we didn't see him. And then he was like, him and his dad were both like murdered like a month or two later or some shit. Oh, like he did some shit. He was there like asking my dad. Yeah. My dad doesn't really like talk about it. I think he was asking my dad to do something. And my dad was like, now nah, you got to go. There's something that kind of refreshing about people who are like that comfortable with violence. Like it's just part of their life. And you're like, yeah, well, all right. It's what you do. It makes you happy. You know? It's like when there's like a heroin addict who yeah. starts chain smoking. You're like, well, as long as you're not hurting anybody, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. killing each other. It's like, yeah. it's their world. Who are we to? Yeah, see, yeah. You know? Right. Um, yeah. I remember one time uh, I was at the, this like concert with Aaron, my my ex, and there was a bunch of guys like talking in the back, and her friend was like playing a show. So her friend was playing the show at Brooklyn Bowl, I think. And uh, there's these like older Italian guys in the back, and they're talking, and she turns around and goes, "Shut up!" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm like, "All right, well, that's what you want to do." I don't know. It was just sometimes that happens in New York. The the worlds kind of collide. And what do you mean the worlds collide? Like you're you're confronted with that with those people. Oh, I right. Remember, yeah, the, I remember hearing the guy be like, "Tell me to shut up, bitch!" And I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> like dancing. Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. Music, I didn't I, hear anything. I didn't, I didn't hear anything. Yeah. That's I think, kind of the TV I think show. you heard. There's a lot of people yelling stuff on yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably about something else. I would yeah. imagine. That's kind of the TV show I want to see. Is like the old mobsters but the, but the hipsters take over the town and so it's like these two oh, just yeah, mingling yeah. together and it's just yeah. like what is that like i always wonder here it's like this greek <laughs> neighborhood it's yeah, like yeah. i want to see those weird hipsters interacting with old see mobsters yeah, yeah, yeah. like because yeah. they don't believe yeah, they're yeah, real yeah, yeah. and the other ones are like i'll murder everyone <laughs> they Some don't believe the... they're real or, or, or they want to like experience that as like an yeah yeah, yeah. Like, it's like a it's New like York a fantasy camp for them yeah um but i like to like the idea like the mobsters like where like the hipsters like rub off on them you know what i mean they start to like fall into that world like a little bit. Yeah, Jimmy Jimmy Lips has a kills T shirt. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. like you know we don't talk to those broads like that anymore. <laughs> they got feelings and things now. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, it's funny, funny shit. Probably should have talked about that on the podcast, huh? That's a script we should write. That's that's my idea for a show. It's like this: the, the, these two cousins have like their grandfather comes back from prison. He's like a former mob boss, and mm -hmm. he's depressed. So they decide they're going to help him like get his territory back, or convince him that people still respect him in the neighborhood. But the whole neighborhood's like you know all hipsters and stuff. <laughs> his <laughs> former funny. mistress is like with like a yoga instructor. And, <laughs> right. That's hilarious. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So anyway, so oh, yeah, you, we so, interrupted you. So Tom, yeah. Yeah, please. <laughs> let's keep it. Uh, <laughs> let's let's keep it like red eye. You know, everybody gets to talk. <laughs> um, so Tommy Patera was a was an enforcer in the uh, Bonanno family. Uh, they called him. They called him uh, Tommy Karate. Tommy for, Karate. Yeah, because of his affinity for karate. Oh, that's awesome. So what happened was he had a very like high pitched voice, and he was uh -huh. like kind of he also they said he had high cheekbones. Uh -huh. Okay. So he was bullied a lot. He was like bullied relentlessly. By okay. kids. His father was a candy salesman. His mother was like, you know, some <coughs> some whatever job or whatever. But he was like, he was bullied so much that uh -huh. he like went to Japan and studied karate for like a couple <laughs> of years. So karate, like, yeah. old school karate. Yeah, Man, I mean that is that is a, a certain level of bullying where you fly to Japan <laughs> yeah, to yeah, learn yeah. karate. Yeah, That's yeah. not even like I think I'll take a class at Paramus. Yeah, I'll get a yeah. gun. Fly to Nagano. But they, yeah. see, that's where a lot of that's where a lot of sociopaths come from. Like they sure. have like a, something happened in their life or they were bullied or something, uh, right. and they sort of develop this like tough exterior um, mm. where you know because they were hurt or whatever. Yeah. So, um, but then he like he worked in a uh, a chopstick factory so he could. <laughs> study karate more. He grew his hair out. So it's so funny. Like I this imagine crazy. This, guy, this guy learning karate, but he doesn't learn. Face. He didn't learn any any of the, the <laughs> Mr. Miyagi stuff. All about. This, all, his trip sounds like what an Italian guy would say. Uh, imagine, uh, yeah, yeah imagine just like Japan. if they were trying to be as racist as possible <laughs> yeah. to Japan. Just yeah, like, I don't know, he works in a chopstick factory. <laughs> yeah. What was his last name? Patera, P-I-T-E-R-A. Yeah, he was pretty interesting. And then he like he sold drugs with the Bonanno family, and uh, he would like 
he was obsessed with like finding rats. So he would just <laughs> kill people in his crew like all the time, just murder guys. <laughs> to the point where like he wouldn't he would kill you for like having a beard because you be like rats have whiskers. <laughs> so you couldn't have a beard if your hair grew a little long. He would, like, oh, you. God. He murdered like a lot of people. They they there was some park in Staten Island where they found a ton of his like victims uh, or something. What sucks is again, I know he's murdering people with guns and not karate. Like he goes there, all of that. Just yeah, I, think just shoot some I think there were some karate. I think there were. If you're Tommy Karate, you're throwing a chop. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're throwing yeah, a yeah. one roundhouse kick. I imagine yeah. this guy. He shoots him in the head, and they're dying, and he goes hi, and then he like <laughs> he'll do like a kick in the stomach, like karate. Wow, again. that was pretty good, Tommy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Tommy. Yeah. yeah. This guy, he's a fat. He doesn't look like he's doing any karate. All right, careful. I mean, he's, he's still alive. P H A T. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, uh, he's a good man. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it seems like a good guy. Um, but but also like I was talking to Terry Nova and Terry Nova was like I knew guys who knew him. They said he's like the nicest guy. Oh so, yeah. I don't know. That's yeah, it. Sure. That's interesting for me to think about like getting bullied and stuff. It does kind of. I do like when change. they're when they treat human like other people like civilians mm-hmm. where they're like oh no we don't mess with those people because they're not part of the game. You yeah. know they didn't they didn't I love that like he didn't take the money they they're not in they're not they're just civilians yeah, yeah. I get down with that you know yeah. it's like ah you know I take the money that means I'm now with I'm now running with you guys yeah all consequences included well there's a guy Sonny Franzese he's uh-huh. still alive he's a hundred or he's like a hundred or hundred and one he just got out of prison recently and when he was like ninety one he like tried to shake down a strip club like <laughs> walked, he walked into the hustler club and tried to like shake it down for protection money ninety <laughs> one like yeah with like I think he had a cane or a wall <laughs> Or something that he like tries to. That's great. So it's like I think that's why you know we like these stories. Like we like that spirit. Yeah, we yeah, all, yeah. We all want to be that old man. Sure. You know, we're old men, but we want to. You know. Yeah, we want to still be able to be our younger selves. Yeah. Be able to fight. We don't want to feel like cocks, you know? Right. I hope when I'm 90, I'm still shaking down. <laughs> uh, <but> still. <laughs> still, yeah. I mean, I hope I start. I yeah. Mean, yeah. I'll learn in my start. 80s. I'll pick, yeah. Um, did but, he have a gun? What? Like, how did he even try to do that? Or did he just say no? They probably like, just no. They probably just laughed at him. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to protect you. Yeah. From what? From what? From From what? You're 90. Also, the other thing I was thinking with uh, uh, Tommy Karate and the uh, the beard with like the whiskers or whatever, yeah. it sucks when like there's uh, something about you that you can't predict about the other person, and then you're just dead. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. Or you're just like, oh, he just he hates beards. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, now you're uh, you didn't even know that. Now your wife's a widow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. And you, there would be no way for you to like in a just guess that. Don't yeah, you know? blink around Jimmy the Fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He doesn't like blinking. Yeah. It's like, yeah. oh, great. He thinks you go to another world when you <laughs> blink, and that world is devious, so he doesn't like it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and like also, um, yeah, he did kill a lot of people, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just like say, accepting oh, gay people. Thing. He wanted to accept beards. <laughs> no, the, <laughs> you know, it's like where yeah. that's crazy. There's got to be a step before <laughs> gay people. <laughs> yeah, he's got to go to mustache. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Well, the karate thing. It's like he he went to Japan and like studied karate for like years, but didn't right. get any of the lessons. Like all the everything. <laughs> yeah, right, right. He just, just <laughs> yeah, used yeah. to like shake people down and stuff. Like <laughs> miss the part about yeah, only attacking yeah. people when they attack you. Yeah. Like, yeah. All he's, the Mr. Miyagi <laughs> stuff. He just. That went over his head where he flew yeah, back man. early. Whoever yeah. fucking taught him in Japan taught when him they, the opposite. Taught him in yeah, reverse. Or yeah, or like when they bring up his name, he's just like, yeah, I mean, that was the one pupil that got away from me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he just learned from the happened. shredder. <laughs> yeah. It was just a bad guy. Yeah. That's wild. Is that I don't know. There is something funny about like, that just seems like the darkest... I mean, like the darkest plot to like analyze that is like Tommy Karate going yeah. over to Japan and trying to learn from like a peaceful, <laughs> like uh, you know, uh, karate guy or whatever. There's yeah. a karate school in every corner. Yeah, you didn't have to go to Japan. <laughs> so oh, in the seventies and eighties, yeah, it was like big, right? Yeah, yeah, it was huge, man. Karate, I, 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 yeah, karate around karate kid time was yeah, yeah. enormous. I took karate. You took karate. Right? I took karate, baby. Yeah, did you take it or no? I took taekwondo. Yeah, like but the, some the form Korean of it. version. <laughs> yeah, right, right. right I was right. like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> they would lie to you in all karate. The, all the writing is angular <laughs> yeah. instead of sw- swervy like the Japanese. <laughs> Isn't there karate in this town? And then they were running prostitution out of the out of the Top really? Orb. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, I, that I found that out a few years later. Uh, yeah. Like a massage place, probably. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I think you're. Yeah, I, that in. yeah. Prostitution is like there's a difference between prostitution and and a massage place. Yeah, but I feel like your it's dad like... can get tugged off because he's sick of your fucking <laughs> cunt mother. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
I, uh, I love the, the, and I used to take karate. They would just lie to you. I remember I had like my karate teacher was like, my teacher from a sitting position could jump 10 feet in the air. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, whoa, man. And it's yeah. like, oh no, they, li- karate was just all lies. <laughs> yeah. Like it was like, yeah. you can hit someone in the right position, they'll shit their pants, yeah. their eyes will come out. It's like, it was all lies. Well, the guy that taught you was like a, a he was like a guy teaching it out of his truck, right? Yeah, it was a guy who worked at the Home Depot. Yeah, what was that guy's name? Todd. <laughs> Todd and John. Todd worked at the Home Depot and John just like fighting people. So he was literally, he was like eight of us kids and he was like, I like when everyone comes at me at the same time. <laughs> and we would charge him, and he hit us with a bow staff. Right. And he was like, "I win again." He's like, "You just sure. beat up twelve-year-olds." <laughs> he like called it learning in class. Yeah, yeah Todd That's was just great. drunk. He was great. Todd was great. He was drunk all the time. I think maybe he looked like Johnny from the from A and F. I don't know why I said that on the it air. It must suck to be a kid now. Like, what stories do you have as a kid? Yeah. The, in terms if of if, you, if you're growing up in 2018, like fun, like There's fight no stories, bow staff, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 children yeah. going into the fucking woods trying to build weapons, yeah. you know, like just <laughs> yeah. taping a bunch of glass together. I'm like, yeah. oh, if somebody comes at me, I'm gonna hit him with this glass tennis ball combination yeah. Yeah. thing yeah. I built. There's no like fun, accidental, but like at the time, very dangerous. But when you're a kid, you're like, I don't know. It was just like I can look back and be like, oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like you with like, uh, I don't, don't want to say his Go name. Go right ahead, Dayon. Oh yeah, like like this is like yeah. A I had a child molester. Example. He would come around, try to molest us, <laughs> yeah. get us, kiss us on the lips and shit. <laughs> and I was like, that's that's great. That's hilarious. Yeah. As long as he didn't like you know penetration. It's funny because <laughs> like it's the joke that you and all your friends have. Like right. you're, yeah. you're laughing at him. Right. Yeah. right he's right, like right. a shitty pedophile. Yeah. Right. It's right. Terrible. Day yeah. on. Yeah. Day on. Day on. Day on. Come and the kids run home. We would sing that. At him. Oh really? Yeah. yeah he would yeah, run man. away. You talk about that on stage, right? I do have a little story about it. Yeah. But it's. Not, and then Louis work. has a similar story too, right? There was a guy oh, named great. Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> well, There's yeah. a lot of just similarities kidding. in of Greg course. and Louis, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, he's right, out of right. business. I'll just take all that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had a thing that was a little similar that I got mad about, but it, mine's different. <laughs> and he's like, but that's like the, f- there's the danger there. That's like he might lose yeah. you. Yeah. Right. Because they seemed- weren't all. Like, now that could never happen. They weren't all lock you in the basement, rape you pedophiles. A lot of them were just, they want to put you in wrestling moves. Yeah. They, you know, I they want to sweat s- around you. Yeah. Slippery fingers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like this. It's like the massage parlor. They're not full out yeah. prostitution. She's just got to rub a few boys to get through the day. Right. God yeah, bless right. them. Yeah, so my, my uncle would, he, I mean, I don't think, he didn't molest me. I don't know if he molested anybody, but he he would he was like a tickler. He thought it was funny to tickle us, and I kind of wish he just molested me one time. Just, like, just the fear of, like, being tickled. And you're like, and he's like, uh. yeah. yeah, I remember. That. I remember asking my mommy, like, can you tell him to please stop tickling me? <laughs> yeah, it's not I, fun. Yes, for anybody. I remember. We hate it. <laughs> yeah, and I still think about his fingers in this weird way. <laughs> yeah. He's more like PTSD. Yeah. <laughs> was very, your mom very similar? Was your mom like, just let him tickle you? Um, like, just no, she you. was like, okay, yeah. My okay. mom was like kind of protective. Like I remember, um, because I was just playing Red Dead when Grand Theft Auto Three came out. Yeah. My family's like super, super conservative, yeah, like yeah. socially and politically. All ours, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Come on, and uh, <laughs> my uncle like your red boys. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, red boys in a blue state. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which, how, how is Jersey a democratic state? I don't understand. I know. I've Everybody never met that I know a yeah. Democrat in yeah. New Jersey. A Democrat in New Jersey. <laughs> so yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. Never, not one. Yeah, they're all in like they're all in like uh, what's that town? All those mountain towns that are like close to the city, but oh. they're kind of like Northwest Jersey, like West yeah. Orange. Is, uh, oh, okay. They're all in West Orange. See, that? and that's what like, and when people talk about it, it's like these are like. We can talk. They're they're so left or right leaning or conservative that it's like we talk about it on state. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. like that level of ridiculous. It's yeah, like when yeah. people talk about like, but that's triggering for some people, I guess. I guess, yeah. yeah. But when people talk about like folklorish, like people on the right, it's like, yeah, that's our families. Yeah, Do that's my mom. I mean? Yeah. So I never same thing when like New Jersey is a blue state. I'm always like, I can't even fathom. It's it. just it's yeah. it's so crazy to me to talk to someone who's like my parents are Democrats. I'm like, I don't understand what it's Ow. like to know an old. <laughs> Older person who is progressive. Yeah. Like, I have yeah, no yeah. idea what that's like. Yeah. yeah. It's, every time I think of something progressive, like I think of the first guy who did and like a, <laughs> yeah. and like a scarf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like 27 like, when I learned you couldn't say the N word <laughs> as a white guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. How old was I? I'm trying to think. How old are you now? 31. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> when did I learn that? Um, but uh, my, uh, so my mom, Grand Theft Auto 3 just coming out, and my uncle calls the house and he's like, 
he's yelling at my mom. He's like, if your kids are playing Grand Theft Auto, just so you know, they're killing prostitutes <laughs> and they're having sex with prostitutes and killing them and getting their money back. And my mom's like screaming at him. And she's like, my kids don't do that, Brian. And don't call my fucking house and tell me that I don't know how to. <laughs> she's like, my mom, I was surprised that my mom like defended yeah. me and my brother right. playing Grand Theft Auto. She like went to bat for us and she was like, That's awesome. I know my kids and how dare you call me. And we only killed a few prostitutes. <laughs> Probably what we were doing in the game was worse than killing prostitutes. Yeah. Yeah. They're shooting bazookas at cops. Yeah. No one ever says that that's the bad part of Grand Theft Auto 3. We're shooting a bazooka at 100 cops. Yeah. Like, don't fuck a prostitute. You guys got your fucking head wrong. That's what's so funny about video games. You Like, a lot of these video games, you kill so many cops and... Yeah. Just security guards and just people who are like <laughs> yeah. doing their jobs. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, some yeah. some kid doesn't have a father now because he had to rob a bank. <laughs> some, like, yeah, they should make that game. Yeah. <laughs> they should make that game where you're the kid who has to mourn yeah. his <laughs> father's. Yeah. yeah, insurance premiums are going up. Press X to tie your tie because your dad's not here to do it. <laughs> That's the game. You have to tie your tie for your father's funeral because he got killed by some piece of shit bank robber who can't get a job like a real. <laughs> I feel like guilty about it, but I don't know, dude. I just got Red Dead, yeah, and uh, like the first thing I did was you gotta lean into it. Oh, I, I tied up. There's some... no non-lethal way to dispose of people. Well, that's that I tied this woman up, <laughs> yeah, and then I was like, what am I gonna do with her? I brought him her into the secluded cabin because you already tied her up, <laughs> yeah. And I looked at her and I was like, are you gonna do this, Greg? Are you gonna blow this woman's brains away in this weird cabin? <laughs> like, even though it's a game, it was still kind of like this is weird. So I just picked her up and brought her to a river and just threw her in the river. <laughs> that's the end. The of thing to do. Yeah. Just let you the know? alligators deal with it. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's not my problem. That's the alligator problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You have to like lean into it because in most games in like Hitman there's like non-lethal ways to dispose uh -huh. of people. Or yeah. But this is just like you just they're like like some guy showing you the stable and you're like some guy's like the stable person. You know, like, Take him out and then steal the horse. <laughs> but he like says something racist right before so yeah. you don't feel as bad about killing him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's so many people who are just like probably just got laid off from the mine and they just needed a job. So they're like protecting a stagecoach. Yeah. And I just hit him with an axe in the head. Yeah. Do you, uh, did you get to the part where you're, you kill the, you can kill the KKK members? Yeah. That's fun. But I don't kill them. I, I join. <laughs> yeah. 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 I just like hear them out. Yeah. 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 yeah I bring them to a, I bring them to a college to do a speech. Yeah. Yeah. Free speech. Yeah. The free speech tour. Yeah. yeah. We all Me and Milo Yiannopoulos and uh, a KK, a Klansman. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, but I guess back to you know back to Patera. So he was bullied a lot, uh -huh. and uh -huh. that's kind of like maybe that I feel like that's kind of what made him you know who he was. Were you guys bullied? Did you have any? Did you have any bullies? I uh, I was smaller than people, and then I got bigger. Yeah. So like I was, I had like I had some bullies, but then when I got bigger than everyone, yeah, I was like, oh no, that's done. You know, like so then that kind of happened. Mm, but I had yeah, one yeah. guy that happened with my father. Yeah. Yeah. My parents would hit me, and then when I got big enough to fight back, they just kind of stopped. Like first, my mom stopped hitting me yeah, when yeah. I was like 12, yeah, yeah. and then I was 14, I started lifting weights, and my dad stopped hitting me. I was like, I'm the most powerful kid in the world. Damn it. Because <laughs> he knows it's going to be a struggle. Like, he could probably, you know, it would still be, he would put up a fight but yeah yeah I just but, like the idea of an italian dad who keeps working out so they could keep beating up their foot <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mikey's getting strong uh, yeah. Yeah. don't give him so much milk yeah. don't give him yeah, so much yeah. milk i better start taking metrics <laughs> so i could beat up my kid yeah because they got me weights for christmas and that's when i so this is i mean you get you even think i'm an idiot for this but that's when i fully stopped believing in Santa Claus because I held on to Santa for uh -huh. like yeah, yeah. a yeah. long time. I held on to Santa until yeah. I was like 14. Sure. Nothing wrong with because that. I had a younger sister and also I just didn't want to like sure. let that go. Yeah. It's great. It's also an extra present. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happened? How, do, how come you, because of the weights? I just heard my dad dropping weights on the floor at like <laughs> three in the morning. <laughs> just a big thud. And he goes, ah, oh, God damn it. That's the thing. And then I wake up and it's just two Mike from Santa. And I'm like, oh, I guess I don't think Santa brought that weeder weight <laughs> bench in here. <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah, Santa, like you're too, if you're getting weights for Christmas, I think you're too old for Santa. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, that is a great yeah, point. Yeah. 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 And I was like, ah, oh, fine. Time no, to let I it didn't. go. Yeah, I was uh, I was little too, but I uh, I was kind of I was just like nuts. Yeah, like uh, I was like a maniac when I was like real little. I used to me and this kid uh, Rick Carbone. I fought him for like a whole year. Oh, yeah. uh, I think it was um, I want to say like 
fourth grade maybe, where some Joe Travallo had told me that Rick said something about my mom. And I I also thought, like, uh, I don't know if you just thought this as a kid where you were like, oh, I just think I'm not of this world. This might just be me, 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 but I yeah, was yeah. like, I thought, you know what I mean? Like, I thought I was like a super superhuman or something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. So I would do this thing. So your um, parents would just boost your fucking confidence every yeah, day. Yeah, my mom supported me too much. <laughs> so I, I would do a thing with Rick where I... Uh, <laughs> and, um, he was bigger than me too, but I was like, "Yeah, but you can't because I'm like an alien." Man. So yeah, yeah. Like, you can do it. I'm a wild. Uh, so I, <laughs> we you never room. know how you're gonna do in a fight until the fight happens. Yeah, yeah. There's this kid, Mike Sturm, and he would bully me, and I threatened to fight him, and he put his hands in his pockets and starts kicking me, and I'm like, "All right, all right, enough. So I don't want to fight you." Anymore. <laughs> so I used to do a thing with Rick, where you know you would have the classroom, and then you would have like a just like a closet space, but it was like a coat room. Everyone would hang up their bags and coats and stuff like that. And before class, I used to shut the lights in the coat room. <laughs> I just used to kick the shit out of Rick. <laughs> you have to understand, this guy's fucking. St- Way bigger than it, like double Anthony's size. Yeah, yeah, he was Ripped, like, and huge. Anthony would just rage in the coat. Yeah, room but I had, I had like, a, I had a real bad temper, and I would just like, I, I would just go until the end. Well, that's you know my I mean? thing with women. Everyone always, always like, will a man could beat a woman? I'm like, yes, most can if you go by weight, but you have to go by who's willing to go far. If you know a girl yeah. who's willing to stick her fingers in your eyes, yeah, she's yeah. gonna win a fight. You know? No, like Deb, like I tried to push her in a pool one time. <laughs> she's she's not. I, I don't I don't think I could beat her in a. F- if I was, I might have to kill. If we got in a physical fight, <laughs> I might have to kill her to like stop her from coming at me. That's yeah, not, yeah. That's that shit. It's that like... girl's got a lot of fight in her. <laughs> like I don't even think I could physically uh, dominate her. <laughs> But I do think That's if great. you get to a certain to one of you guys. place, <laughs> <laughs> to call Colin Jost to be like, "Hey, help me out with this. Remember, 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 I was there for you." <laughs> I think if you get to a certain point physically, though, that doesn't matter. The what eye mean? poking, the you know what I mean. Well, yeah, man, it does matter because if you're super, even if you're super strong, you might not be the kind of guy who can throw a punch. I know a lot of those big guys who throw punches. They're weak because they're because they pull back. They're afraid. You gotta be yeah, that guy. You, you push punch comes through. to shove. I think you can. You whatever that craftiness Let me is. Give you a great example. Okay. I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah, sure. Think. I'm sorry. I will do it. I'll do it when I have to. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> think of it this way, right? Good. Wait, right? Uh huh. You versus a squirrel. Okay. <laughs> squirrel, fuck you up. Yeah, because it's little. Bite sure your face; will. it'll run up your thing. It'll go crazy. If you're yeah. if you're crazy, I still I like my chances against a squirrel. You think? I do. I would put you in a room with a squirrel any day. Love. Yeah, ten All squirrels. Right. So, ten squirrels. Yeah, ten That's, uh, a lot wild of squirrels, squirrels, man. Yeah, I, you, what, I'll, one squirrel. Run rat. Think of a fucking rat running up your leg, I, I or a pit bull. No problem. A pit bull. A pit bull is different. A pit bull still weighs sixty is, pounds. Yeah, but a pit bull might be stronger than me. No. You don't think they've got no. big muscles? Well, they are very strong. Their, their mouth is probably strong. Yeah, yeah. But that's you're bigger. Thing too. Yeah, but they got that. The yeah, their mouth is. A crazy. woman with a knife, she'll cut your throat right. A quick. woman with a knife. That's, that's different. Too, like if I oh, if give I her a knife. killed if I killed Deb in a fight, I would still be. Uh, embarrassed that I did because it's like I killed her spirit and her spirit <laughs> is super strong. I'm trying to think of like a movie where like there's you know a more powerful force. I'm trying to think maybe I don't know if, um, like 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 imagine like a more powerful force, but there's a guy who's like a really good fighter and he's able to fight, but then they like somebody just pulls out a gun and shoots him or something. It would be kind of like that situation. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. don't know if that's ever been in a movie, but changes things though. Sure, yeah. a weapon changes things. <laughs> yeah. But no, if you're but there's a something coward, to be said about like the the human spirit. Yeah, no, I think I'm not, I'm not saying uh, like, a strong I, I think spirit. it's a, a mm. very relevant uh, thing to have in a fight. Yeah, I'm just saying at a certain point that goes out the window. If you're willing to go to that place, sure. and that other person That's is not willing to go fact. to that place, I'm not saying it's not. But if both are you, Anthony? Well, Anthony, we know you're willing to go to that place. Yeah, I'll go to that place. Yeah, that guy's don't look behind his eyes, my friend. <laughs> yeah, <It's> darkness. <laughs> yeah, I'll get there. Yeah, I know. I'm not willing. I think I'm. I think I'm a coward now. I lost it. We're all cowards, but different <laughs> degrees. Like yeah, it's just different degrees like, of it. Yeah, I used to not be. A Did you guys see Fargo, the TV show Fargo? Uh-huh. Didn't finish it. Well, remember that when the when Patrick Wilson's like, you know, he's like, I'm I'm taking you in. He's like at the Gearhart's mansion. Yeah, he's like, you know that those those moments in movies are, yeah. are kind of cool. Like if you killed him in that moment, it's almost like you have to respect that guy in that moment because he's got the the balls to the stand balls up. To yeah, stand just up. take him in. Like that ninety yeah. year old. Who's shaking down oh, hustlers? Yeah, that's exactly yeah. Right, that guy will yeah. probably beat me up. Yeah, you know, 
So this is a good episode. We want to talk about childhood, but we're talking about the human spirit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because yeah. it's almost like if you don't give him the money, you're you're you suck. <laughs> if a ninety year old man for tries to sake. shake you down, yeah, yeah, why you he deserves the money? Yeah, effort alone. Yeah, yeah. I would be like, oh, he clearly has friends or something. Like yeah. this can't be. This has got to be the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, <laughs> it's also a thing too. Because I mean, like my grandma's in a nursing home at ninety two. You know what I mean? And like, if you don't keep engaging in like physical activity. Activity and like mental activity, like you'll, you know, you oh, have a better to, chance of having to dementia. Like this is like his way of like staying, young. staying sharp. This is his yeah, Sudoku exactly. puzzles. Yeah. Is yeah. Sticking up yeah. Yeah, man. Some people do clubs. the crossword. Some people shake down Larry Flint's uh, hustle. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. That's great. Yeah. Um, when I was in eighth grade, I had a uh, I had a girl bully, and I didn't know how to deal with it. This That's girl, tricky. This girl Megan Keegan would just I would sit down in science class, and she would like call me fat and make fun of my clothes. <laughs> She would bully me like I was fucking Lindsay Lohan and Mean Girls. Yeah. Like she was Regina Dr- I, I'm like, I remember asking my cousin, like, what do I do about this? And he's like, I don't know. If it's a guy, you could fight him. <laughs> but I can't yeah. fight. I just had to, like, take it, I guess. That's yeah. like you learn how to hogtie people. You hogtie them. You're not fighting them. You just tie them up and you leave them. You go, now you're yeah. fucking tied yeah. up for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, just, you just leave them stuck for a little while. <laughs> yeah, that'll be so funny. Until they cool down. Yeah. Or you That's spit on him and run. I like Greg, a spit you're ready and run. for kids. <laughs> yeah. Your son has a girl bully. You just tell him to hog tire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you got all the answers. Yeah. yeah. What, would, did you ever bully anyone? Probably. Yeah. yeah. Probably. There was a kid in preschool who was like really sick. And he had tubes in his what? stomach and stuff. And, but <laughs> and girls kind of liked him. I remember like. This was preschool? You knew like girls kind of liked him? Girls would like ha- hang out with them and they would kind of <laughs> feel sorry for him. And I'd be like, this kid's a fucking crybaby. I call him a crybaby a few times. I remember my teacher being like, he's very sick. And it's rude to, for you to say that. I just had this contempt. I had, and he was this little, this tiny little kid. Man, I, I, I mean, it hurts me to talk about no, it. Now, yeah, yeah. You're so in shitty. preschool. Who, I mean, you were. In- yeah, but it's like so shitty. I'm sure he's, I'm so sure he's dead. Yeah. Right, right, right. There's no way he's still. Man, you, you might alive, be, when you were saying earlier that you were pretty advanced as a kid, I think, yeah, this is all the proof I needed. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were getting all horned, horned up in preschool. Well, no, I just think emotionally to, to be like this kid. Yeah, you know what I mean? To, yeah. be like the, the, to have uh, that level of contempt for a kid. To I was be jealous like, of the attention. That right, 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 right. And then I remember I one time like he was crying and he like lifted feeling. his shirt up. He had a tube coming out of it, you know, like. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, and he was, you know, this little, little kind of sure. ch- cher- cherubic. Yeah. Boy, right, I, right, right. Well, you know I will name? never get a chance to redeem myself for that. I just have to carry it around for the rest right. of my life. <laughs> so his name was Seth. When, 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 do you think he's still alive? Can we look up to see if he's alive? How, though? Because it's from... you. Yeah, I don't remember his last name. You just, you just Google Seth Tube. Seth. Seth's he, tube great kid. Miracle. Seth Tube Kid, and then yeah. Mike's hometown. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, preschool, that's all right. I just fucking... I have a bully. I had a bully who, to this day, if I see him, I'm like... Oh, I, w- I might like stab him. Like I <laughs> still too. have those anger feelings towards this I, guy just in front of his family. I would yep. just kick the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah. What did they do that you still feel like that? Well, the worst one was when I was with my girlfriend. We were at Nevada Diner, and uh, he sees me and he was like, "Hey, come here!" In front of all of his friends, I'm saying like uh. 20 people, and he just like berated me in front of everybody. And I was like, "Yo, I'll, I'll fuck you up." And he was like, "All right, let's go." Me and he, like 10 people got up, and I was like, "I can't." Yeah, and I just had to take it. And he was like, "See, you're a fucking bitch." Uh-huh. Right in front of your girlfriend, you're a fucking bitch. And I was like, oh, "He just degraded me in front of my girlfriend." And you think that when you're an adult, that's going to happen more, so you like prepare <laughs> yeah, for yeah. it. Well, yeah, and it just people just grow out of that. Of course, quickly. yeah. But you, your life is like your life when you're a kid is like getting bullied and watching karate action movies. Totally. Yeah, yeah, totally. So you think that you're like, well, all right, next time, you yeah. know, I'll let that go. And then I, I feel like I've, I spent so much in my twenties like preparing to have to be like an Italian tough guy. <laughs> yeah. Right. Pre- and I'm just like I, I face almost no conflict. <laughs> yeah, zero. Then you get day. like it's like a movie, and they need conflict. Yeah. yeah, you need to have those hero moments because yeah. it's a script, and that drives narrative. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy's super overweight. I'm waiting for him to like have some kind of heart attack, and I'm just gonna go to the hospital and spit on him. And go. This is from <laughs> this is from fucking seventh grade. I'm still fucking. I still yeah. for unforgivingly furious at you. Do you think he remembers? Yeah. You always, always kind of carry that pain around with you. I think. And there was another guy. He worked for the Gambino family, Roy DeMeo, uh-huh. and he was like, like. Gotti was like afraid of this guy. He had a body count of over like 200 people. 
he had a bar where he would like dismember bodies like an assembly line like mm-hmm. he would drain right. their blood in the bathtub and they would <laughs> wear hair nets I, I love the image of these guys like going to the st- going to Target buying <laughs> hair nets and, yeah. and the, I think you put nail polish remover on your fingertips or something it distorts your, your fingerprints mm-hmm. so like yeah the guy's buying like lipstick and <laughs> yeah. Someone looking at him be like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> Do you think like, making his daughter go into the store for him to buy it, like yeah. it's ta- like it's her like tampon, yeah. yeah? Or like he buys it and people at Target are like, "This guy's like a great husband." Yeah, like, he'll yeah. buy yeah. all this yeah. stuff yeah. for his yeah. wife. Like people complain about buying tampons for this one. <laughs> this guy's buying all this. Shit. What a great did, guy! Did yeah. He finds out that like like tampons like stop blood flow, so he's just at yeah. sa- he's at he's at Costco with like an yeah. industrial pack of yeah. tampons, yeah. 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 just not embarrassed. Yeah, <laughs> I wish I had a Roy DeMeo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but Roy DeMeo was a fat kid and he was bullied a lot then he got a job yeah. working for a grocery store he started riding his bike a lot and then lending out his money but I think that state him getting bullied for being a little fat kid stayed with him yeah and just that was probably his whole life just getting back at the yeah, people yeah because I mean like it's so who formative. hurt you you know wh- like whenever that affects you it's like a bodily reaction to it yeah and then when it happens later on in life you go back to that bodily place yeah so you know yeah. And those things are uh, scarring. Yeah. I remember, like, my cousin would, would fuck with me a lot. We had... Sure. Yeah. So yeah, he's yeah. probably mad about that. Anyway, he used to bully me. Uh, and I remember him, like, holding me underwater one time, and I'm just leaving the pool, like, all <laughs> stiffly, like, being, like... <laughs> like, my parents like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine, you know? <laughs> and then... uh and then one time he like he pushed me in the pool with my towel on and I I he was on a float and I jumped on his back I nice. like jumped into the pool and hit him in the back with my two fists and he like rolls over and starts crying and he's like <laughs> <laughs> he's like crying he he like runs home um, so that was good so always stand up to if there's any children listening always stand up to yeah bullies that's the thing man no we had it. this guy in our school Eggy who was like a bully. He had a giant egghead, I think because he was like, he just got hit so many times. Yeah. And everyone was like, stand up to your bully. And I was like, hey, man, you can't fuck with me. Yeah. And he like slammed me against the fucking locker. Yeah. And I was like, this guy's going to fuck me up for real. Yeah, like he yeah. was like a real deal killer. No, yeah. it doesn't always happen. Like, <laughs> yeah, movies. Man. You're not always Patrick Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to a it Fargo. rarely works out. It yeah. Rarely happens that way. Rarely. What's crazy about that guy is yeah. he was fucking psycho. And then the next day he was like my friend. Yeah. And then the next day he was like, we're not friends again. He was just like. So well, he was, was yeah, like, yeah. He was a little nuts. This is also, so funny, yeah, that we're reliving this stuff because yeah. you, you don't deal with this as an adult. No. No, 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 no. Because you people evolve. And those, like, something happens with those. If you stay doing that, yeah. you, it'll catch up to you. Yeah, you, yeah. You can't just be. But, like, a guy like Eggie, like, you don't know people, how many fights people have been in. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. So, yeah. like, a guy like Eggie, it's like, man, he could have lost, like, 20 fights. You know what I mean? You look at a boxer's record and they've, like, fought 200 fights. Yeah. It's like, it's very different from you who's maybe been in the ring once. Well, I had to stay after school with him one day. We were all in the after yeah. school. And he was like, I can't stay. I gotta leave. And he's walking out. And he's like, you can't leave. And you're like, why do you have to leave? And he was like, I gotta get on a bus to go to Clifton to fight somebody. <laughs> right, he right. was leaving yeah, yeah. after school to get on a bus yeah. to pay. Yeah. I don't right. know how much money he had. Had to get on a yeah, butt yeah. to fight somebody else. His allowance. That's what yeah. he spent his allowance on. Yeah. yeah. He had yeah. like a promoter. I'm too late. A bus that, where, where was Funded it? Like him. Bloomfield? Yeah. Like, so Clifton, that's like at least two transfers, right? Yeah, was, I mean, if he took the 709, he probably uses yeah. one. I'll be honest, probably just one straight shot. Oh, yeah, but yeah. still, I won't walking, even, you know, I don't even want to go to shows I want to go to. Right, you right, know, right, right, like right. he's yeah, like yeah. actively like, well, I got a, a, a responsibility is a responsibility. Yeah, right. I'm the <laughs> toughest kid in Bloomfield right, right, right. to fight the toughest kid in. Cl- <laughs> and he's got to like keep himself like amped up through the whole thing. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. that's got to be difficult. Yeah. <laughs> You write that off on your taxes. It's like, well, this was this was for business, my fighting <laughs> right. business, you know. But that's how, yeah. Like Eggy, uh, he had the look of someone who had been in a lot. Did of you guys both? You yeah. guys both knew Eggy. Yeah, yeah. I forget how long yeah, you guys yeah, have yeah. been friends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would never get that. No, no offense, but I would never let myself get that close to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Eggy too. He was uh, he, man, he he banged everybody, man. He fucked everybody. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is like that's like that's when you learn it's like oh he's but he's not attractive. These these girls' fathers are all fucked up. <laughs> it's like right, they, yeah, they're yeah. all fucking their fathers, <laughs> and all their fathers are beating the shit uh, out of them. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like, it's like so let me tell you guys see. what to do. They gotta <laughs> touch a girl's vagina. <laughs> it's so He's easy to like, see the girls. Like, Please touch my vagina. <laughs> 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 Make me feel normal. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like we probably all went to school with like because I wasn't like a tough guy no. at all. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like a comic. Yeah, we're all comics, you know. But we probably went to school with some pretty tough kids. I remember. 
there, there were a lot of kids in my high school that I was like afraid of. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Oh, like they God. had mustaches already. Oh, yeah. Yes. They would wear like wife beaters. Uh-huh. Like I, I'm like I would never show that much of my body. <laughs> they walk around like wife beaters yeah. and like saggy pants and wore their sweatshirt over their shoulder. Yeah, man. Yeah. I remember kids. Uh, uh, Phil Delgado. I remember him just almost getting into like a fist fight with our non Western culture teacher. <laughs> and like then I remember kids in the class. It was like it was like seeing it now you was be he like, like a proud boy or something. No, no. He was just like um I don't know what he was doing, but he was he screaming at him. Just it was over a test, it was over whatever and he was just like, You don't know me. <laughs> you don't know me. Like screaming and everyone in class was like, damn, like Phil's going in and yeah. it's like Phil is having a mental breakdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, that teacher just like never gets hard again because a fucking fourteen year old owned his ass. <laughs> you know? Yeah. His wife's like, How was work? And she's like, Why don't we have sex anymore? It ruined his marriage. Yeah, yeah it ruined yeah, his yeah. marriage, yeah. <laughs> We had Mr. Yeah. Burns, who was like 6'4", yeah. Marine muscle guy. Oh, I remember him. And I remember there was a fight, and he just like picked someone up by their fucking <laughs> thing, and he was like, right. you will not fight. Yeah. And they were like, we will fight. He put them down. There were those teachers, too, and it was always kind of surprising, like, who they were. Yeah. Yeah, there was a guy, Mr. Dempster. He was like this bald, older guy, and I think he was gay. There was, uh-huh. a, I don't, He wasn't married or anything, but he was like the wrestling coach, and he would like kind of walk around like sort of stiff like this. He was like this, yeah. probably just hide, hiding the fact that he was gay, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but he was a guy that like yeah when he showed up people would kind of calm down and then another guy mr cassidy but he was like five six or something uh-huh. but he yeah. was a wrestler i think he also might have had some r- relationships with students people are complicated but <laughs> but yeah. it was a guy it's like if that guy shows up you're like gonna stop fighting yeah 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 we had uh we had the, mr burns one time i remember i was in class and like it was like eggy did something one day to me that was like pissed me off and vadim this kid vadim saw oh, it yeah so he vadim was like this little indian kid yeah. who was like well i guess we could pick on greg so like i was like i was at the edge and i have a real bad temper yeah. so he like fucking flicked my ear or something yeah, and i yeah. grabbed him and i fucking in the middle of class slammed him against the chalkboard yeah. and uh mr burns comes over and he was just like you know like he asked us to leave the class or whatever and he was like greg you can sit down because i was like the nicest guy and this kid was clearly a piece of shit yeah. and mr burns was like he was like you gotta come up for school i was after school for two seconds and he was like I just want to know the story. What the fuck did this kid do? Yeah. And he was like, yeah, next time, do that. Always. Don't ever let these kids fucking... Mr. Burns was the best. He was Greg's like, yeah. teacher's like, the- Greg, you know, it's we never really hang out. Huh? <laughs> yeah. This is like lonely. You seem like a cool guy. What are you into? Yeah. He's I like your moves. Nothing, but, uh, yeah. That's yeah. that's worse than a teacher trying to fuck you. Is he trying to be your friend? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What do you do on Saturdays? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I remember after... Because I was so tiny as a kid when I fought Rick Harbone. And Rick was like a pretty big kid. Yeah. I remember going to the principal. Because I was just kicking the shit out. But you weren't scared. But you weren't scared or anything. No, no, right? I wasn't scared because I was so crazy. I just watched too much professional wrestling. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I yeah. just like thought like like Ultimate Warrior, where they were just like you know um, he's from parts unknown. Yeah. Like I was just like, well, so am I. Like we we share that together. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So like I remember going to the principal, and I was so so tiny, and I remember Doctor Otor being like, "This There's is those lies. You, those lies you kind of tell. Yeah, yourself you kind of tell yourself the, to like yeah. build yourself up. Yeah. And I remember, yeah, I remember Doctor Otor just being like, "This is like good, Anthony." You know. <laughs> Like just like really encouraging and being yeah. like, don't take like shit from anybody. And I'm like, yeah, all right. Don't take shit. You're the one giving the shit. Yeah, Rick yeah. did nothing wrong. Yeah, yeah. That's probably why Rick specul- was all speculation said something about my mom, and I just ran with it. And and yeah, and and that was like empowering too, because I'm like, this guy is the prince. Doctor was the principal of the school, so yeah. it was like, yeah, man, you can't touch me. Yeah, I'm untouchable. <laughs> <laughs> you little fury. That's right, Anthony. You are the ultimate warrior. <laughs> just, but then I do also remember getting to a certain point where uh, you know kids st- started to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and I kind of stayed the same. And there was yeah. a moment of like. My, my my temper can't take me yeah. to the top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I will have to start lifting or learning some uh, skills. Yeah, I had this high school is when I got real racist too. Yeah, <laughs> Be, and, and like honestly, fun racist. Sure. Or, uh, sure. I don't know. Okay. You be the judge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it's just everyone's an asshole when they're teenagers totally. and stuff. And yeah. there were a lot of black kids in my high school. Mm-hmm. And I just remember, like, you know, and, and it, that's a time in your life where, like, everybody's pissed off. And then I'm sure if you're, you know, if you're, uh, a, if you're if you're black, you know, life is shitting on you. Yeah, right. So you're taking it out on people. So right. I wish someone like kind of explained that to me. But what I would do is I would just download like uh, racist songs off Kazaa. <laughs> I would go home and download like, <laughs> you know, and I would wait patiently for them to be finished downloading. <laughs> I would just watch them be like, it's going to be great when that when that when that song is finally finished. <laughs> what do you Google racist songs? 
Yeah, there's you know there's a guy Johnny Rebel who oh, does oh, all those yeah. songs. Yeah. Anyway, Johnny were you saying Rebel. something? Oh, we had this guy. I was in like I remember the day that I realized that like people were like weren't tough a lot of times, yeah. and that like I didn't know who I was because I'm like I'm a bigger guy, and I had this kid on the lunch room or in the lunch room with my friends, and I just ate. Uh, I was eating mashed, they had mashed potatoes. I took a cracker and I scooped in some mashed potatoes. And the guy goes, uh, he was like, "Yo, that's the fucking weird way to eat." And I was like, "Yeah, your fucking mother." Like yeah. I think I just said your mother, and he was like, "I'm gonna fuck you up after school." And I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. "Oh shit!" Like this guy he was like, he used to wear like white camouflage and shit, you yeah, know, white yeah. kid. And I was like, "Oh man, this kid's gonna kick my shit I out know. of me." But then my and friend Emil, the like, yeah, being being like a young boy like you just find yourself what you don't know if these guys are fucking around or yeah, if they're like yeah. if they mean it and then you say the wrong thing and they're like i'm gonna fuck you up now yeah but then my friend emil because like i grew up in the south end so like we were fighting all the time i was like the only white kid there so it was like oh, yeah. constantly people would just be like you'd see me you'd run you'd fight these kids all the time it was like a fucking ton and uh my friend emil was like yo man that kid can't beat you up and uh-huh. i was like what he's like he's sm- not he's skinny <laughs> yeah. and he was like and you're fucking crazy and he's like you gotta and emil's like amping me up in the room he's like if you see him I'm like what are you gonna do i was like man if the fucking guy says shit to me i'm gonna fucking choke him out and <laughs> as i'm saying choke him out he comes around the corner and sees me going i'm gonna choke his ass out <laughs> he fucking just turned around i stood after school with a bag of rocks i just put a bunch of rocks <laughs> in my backpack Good. and he never showed up and then yeah. i was like Oh, this kid was a fucking coward, yeah. and like people were waiting, and I was like, <laughs> good. he was just like, but he wasn't re- like he was just a guy who thought he would get away with it, and I was like, I'm like a nice kid, and then my friend of me was like, how many? He's like, this amping me up in the fucking hallway, but it's like, yeah, most of them are bullshit. <laughs> Kid's like a right. doctor now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I wonder what yeah, happened. Yeah. Right after that, he was like, I'm gonna study. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna change my life. <laughs> yeah. Well, so when John Gotti was a kid, J- John Gotti kind of famously like grew up in poverty, uh-huh. which m- made him different from a lot of other guys. Like there were some guys who kind of like were sort of ingratiated into the lifestyle because um, their dads were in it or they were groomed from a young age. But John Gotti kind of resented his father because he was like a day. He was a day laborer, if you can imagine. You hear day laborer. <laughs> yeah. You, know, you think of a specific. Um, but um <laughs> But uh, he was a day laborer who, like, gambled a lot, couldn't really provide for his family. He resented his family for that, and that sort of got him into organized crime. But I feel like maybe for someone to go that far, you need to sort of have those beginnings. Yeah. Of uh, Did he yeah. really kill his neighbor for running his kid over or something? Was that a true story? Yeah. It wasn't, like, more to that? I was wondering if that was what Suicide so, Kings was like. So what happened was it was kind of like a complicated situation because the neighbor ran over the kid. The kid was riding his big wheel. The neighbor runs over the kid. And then um, the neighbor's like, what do I do? And a bunch of people were like, you got to skip. T- he's going to kill you. You got to leave yeah. town. So the guy leaves town. But the Gotties took it as disrespect that the guy didn't show up to the funeral and, like, apologize. That's uh, the thing where it's like, what the fuck? I don't yeah. fuck. Yeah, what no, do you do? What's totally. going to happen is going to happen. Right. I, yeah. I run over John Gotti's yeah. kid. Like, yeah. it's yeah. out of my hand. <laughs> yeah. there's, no, there's nothing you can do to change, you know? Yeah, I would write oh, a letter. He, letter. Those where you he, live. Oh, he had killed John Gotti's kid. Yeah. He killed John oh, Gotti's okay, kid, okay, yeah. Okay. I would write a letter Frank. that's like, hey, man, I'm really sorry. You can imagine what this is like. But I'm going to try to just uh, <laughs> escape because I want to live. And I'm I so would, sorry. Yeah, I would just be like, I offer me as your yeah. new son. <laughs> <laughs> like a full adult. That is a good, that is a fair trade. Yeah. Puts, a di- puts a diaper on him and just yeah. grooms him like a baby. So, oh, raising this 38-year-old dentist, <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Damn, so they tracked him down and they just killed him, I guess? I think they like found him at a diner and they... Uh, yeah, they killed him. Oh, God, but that's, that's like. Could but you that's imagine one of those things where it's like maybe the guy would still be alive if he had handled, or, or I he, don't know if he'd done something differently. But everybody else was like, yeah. "Get out of town." Yeah, if he went to the funeral, like that's a risky move. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, it's a risky move, and then also it's like, yeah, who do you ask for something like that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you're not like. Who's gonna know to be like? I'll tell you what I did. Right. You know what I mean? Like no yeah. one has a frame of reference. They're just gonna go off movies or what they would think. Yeah. But like you're not the mind of, uh, <laughs> of a sociopath. Yeah. Yeah. So you have no idea what they'd want. Because that's the you thing. Gotta kill like, him. You're not dealing with like rational people. Right. You're dealing with like some different. Yeah. You're dude. dealing with a different type of you're brain. Dealing with Tommy or, Karate who kills yeah. guys because they have <laughs> beards. Mustaches. Yeah. 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 It's like you can't predict their mind. I don't even yeah. like doing this podcast. I'm getting scared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just coming through the window. Well, imagine. So I mentioned Sonny Franzese earlier, the guy who's Italian. Yeah. The, I'm sorry, the Italian. <laughs> the guy who's 100. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, 
But uh, so someone tweeted at me. They're like, "Hey, Mike, I uh, you know I'm working on this documentary with Sonny, and uh, we listened to your uh, your episode together oh. about him." He's like, "You know, um, I, I also hang out with Greg, who dated his daughter, but Sonny and him are friends." He was like, "You should, you guys should do an interview together. You should come out to Long Island and do an interview." And I'm I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, all right, cool." And then I DM'd him, and he's like, "Yeah, we listened to the show, and you know." He's like, we listened to the show, and uh, we, we thought you'd be the perfect person to, like, tell the story to. And I'm like, I'm not the perfect person to tell the story. I'm a fucking retard with a crime podcast because I needed a hook for my stupid podcast, yeah. you know? I was just uh, trying to make it as a comedian. Yeah, I'm just trying to, like, have a hook and yeah. die with dignity, maybe. And so that, so uh, he's like, you should kind of long on to the interview. And then I'm like, yeah, right, I'm still not sure. But that, I just was... No, like no one wants to kill anybody. No one wants right. to. But I was like, if these guys want me dead, I, I, a million scenarios started running through my yeah, mind yeah. of me like having to fight off an old hundred year old, like imagine like a hundred year old man. Not that, and I listened because I was like, I hope it didn't say anything disrespectful. But I listened back to the episode, and we were nice and everything, and, right? You know, but um, but then he goes, he goes, um. Yeah, you know, I'm hang I, I hang out with Sonny like once a week and uh he pretty much listens to whatever I put on for him. And for some reason that made me think like, oh, this guy's like one of us. He's like a yeah podcast nerd who just listens to a lot of podcasts. No one who listens to a lot of podcasts is gonna murder anybody. Yeah. No, I don't I don't think so. I just hope no one plays this karate guy, he looks tough. Uh <laughs> yeah. He's in jail. Okay. But Sonny Fran <laughs> you can Google Sonny Franzese. I mean, he's he's an old guy, but he looks like He's very he's very handsome. Looks together, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wow. Franzese, if you're listening. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is I mean this is him. That's him as a younger guy. It's everybody looks like and then a this different is, version. This is of my him dad. like when he's in his <laughs> right. 90s, kind of. So that's him at like 90 something or 80. Oh, he's and still really this, is, this is him at 100. Oh wow! So wow. that could, you know. He's the guy who tried to hold up the Hustler Club? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Good for him. Keeping it young, you know? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <sighs> anyway, we might be um, wrapping up soon. Huh? We're at like oh, yeah. We're at an, an hour, hour here, but yeah. whatever. Whatever right. you want, Mike. Yeah. You, you got, I don't know if you have a big... Uh, you, you wrap it all up. I just, together, I just uh, want to talk about Al, Al Capone punched a female teacher and he got kicked out of school oh I was just thinking about how, how public school kind of failed me i think because <laughs> you know? i feel like it just reminded me of like being in school and like you i i know i know i was a smart kid and i was passionate about stuff but i yeah. just i didn't like the the rules and the authority and yeah yeah, yeah. same yeah yeah i remember i called uh my third grade teacher a bitch Oh yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't, and then this Anthony was. Anthony must have like a weird past or anything or something <laughs> that we don't know about. <laughs> no man. <laughs> um, uh, no, this fueled you must the have been fire. A different person when you were a kid. Well, I just had a bad temper. Yeah. I just had a horrible, horrible temper. Mm. Um, but uh, this further was something Rick did as well. Was um. There was like a, a suggestion uh, jar for like the class, right? And you could put in whatever for the class. And Rick, and Rick also was dyslexic. And I was a good speller. And Rick put in that um, you're a bitch, uh, Anthony <laughs> dash Anthony, right? And but he spelled bitch wrong. Yeah. And Miss Gianni, I don't know. And this is like a crazy thing, but she did this. And like, I mean, I, you know, friends uh, could back me up. They were in the class. Taco could back me up. But uh, she was like, somebody um, called me a bad word, but they spelled it wrong. And then she had me spell it, and I spelled it right. And I got so mad at her for being like, "Who do you think did this? Like, yeah, the yeah, kid yeah. That, like is like winning spelling bees or the dyslexic kid? Yeah. Who do you think can't spell bitch? Do you think Who Anthony's the right word? word? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're not gonna sign your Furious. names. Yeah. And then went to the doctor and he was You're like, like, like yeah, Miss you Grigioni, he's illiterate. He's mad. Of course, yeah, it was yeah. Him. All the signs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I went down. Were, to... were you insulted that she made you kind of like spell it? Yeah, I was because yeah. of my prowess as a speller. Yeah. And then yeah, I went to Doctor Tor and he was like, "That was good." Here's a tire iron. <laughs> Hit him again, man. <laughs> did did uh, Rick get in trouble? Uh, no, he didn't get in trouble because I well, I think he didn't get in trouble because I I did that <laughs> stunt. <laughs> so I think she was pretty focused on that. Uh, yeah, I just I had a lot of uh, I had a lot of rage when I was younger, but that yeah. kind of just like went away. I think that's like in us as Italians. Yeah, you know, I had a lot of this anger. I don't know what for. 
yeah where it came from i think it's just well i think we're like people. taught to be like uh it's good to have you know yeah. what i mean it's like somewhat revered to have like this like fiery temper you and think this it's passion. cultural or, or genetic maybe I mean, I don't know. Brett Ernst told I don't me one know time enough. Italians are prone to anger. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd because say Italians and Arabs, bro, it's science. <laughs> it's not, it's not uh, these are uncomfortable truths that we have to deal with. <laughs> right, that's what I mean. I don't want to say something like that. I yeah. just know, for, for at least for a fact for me, that it was like uh, um, 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 environmental, mm -hmm. for sure. Like, it was never like, right, like right. don't do that. It was always like, we're stand up for yourself. We're very like, passionate people. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. We're passionate people where we get mad. We don't really keep it in. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know? And I think, too, when, it, like, you can fall back on that, you it maybe it, like, subconsciously encourages you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Where you're just like, oh, I'll just lean into it because, like, this is who I'm destined to be in a way. Yeah, yeah. It's good to know you can go to that place. Yeah, but you know it's also... I mean? Worst case scenario, I'll But kill knowing somebody. what that place is is scary. Yeah, yeah. They used to call me Psycho when I was little. <laughs> my, my mom would call me Psycho when I punched a hole in the That's wall. That's a tough nickname from your mom. Yeah. That was like really made me mad. Why did you, what the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> yeah. Here That's comes a Psycho. Mind, Here comes Psycho. <laughs> yeah. I was like fucking punching holes in the someone walls. a Psycho, it's yeah. like, what do you want? How do you want them to act? <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. It's like that happened. Yeah, when you label somebody like a villain... Yeah. What do you think you're it's breeding? Just, Max Diaz then called me a psycho on his own, <laughs> and I threw him down the stairs. <laughs> right, right. And I was like, I guess I am a psycho. <laughs> right, and I was right, like, this hat is a psycho act. Yeah, I man. I threw him down the stairs. Enough people call you that, you become that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus, Greg, you're such a psycho, <laughs> psycho, psycho, psycho. Every time, yeah. Greg, like every time uh, Greg gets mad at a heckler or something, like that, it's like head. that yeah. trigger in like Naked Gun when Reggie Jackson kills I must the kill queen. The queen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I must flip my desk. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I must chew through a pencil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I use a bad temper. I flipped, yeah. I flipped every day. The teacher, if they would call me stupid or say anything like stupid, oh, that was stupid. They would say the word, I was like with stupid, like the way black people are out of the N word. You can. <laughs> You say it around me at all, yeah. I'm, I'm flipping it. You can't yeah. even say it's like, oh, there are stupid people. I go, stupid, you don't say that. And I would yeah. fucking flip and I would throw shit. I, I, oh, <laughs> yeah. I remember Mike Mike Malley and I uh, got into a Just chair Just like fight. black people with the N-word. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you can't say it even any, or you can't even <laughs> mention it exists now. Yeah, I don't I, get it. I know. I'm just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> just kidding. I remember writing day Mike Malley and As I long as there's text messages, out. it'll still exist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mike Malley? I love yeah. when we're doing full names on everybody. All right, it's fine. It's okay. We're talking about it. It's like this is a podcast with a mob. We're just naming names. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, I remember there there was something where like he you know it was a good thing too that I'm thinking about it's good that like you and I didn't meet as kids in grammar school. Mm. Cause that would have been like this is like <laughs> this is like We guys this, went to this, middle school or high school together? High school. Yeah. And middle school. We went to we middle school together, we didn't know each other. Yeah. But like in grammar school it would have been like this is the craziest kid from the South. <laughs> this is the craziest kid from the <laughs> two North. tempers unite. <laughs> yeah, man. We're to just gonna give them bats and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hung out with this. Did I tell you I hung out with this fucking kid? Who, I think it's like it was like a white power kid for like a, all the all my friends were Hispanic and Puerto Rican. Mm -hmm. But then when we got to Can middle this just school, be the new show. By the way, we'll split page. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my friends were uh, my friends were Hispanic and Puerto Rican. I'm sorry, and shit. Robert, Matt, make sure the episode is out by midnight. Okay, last time it wasn't. <laughs> it was like about fifteen minutes late. <laughs> This is the only way you communicate with your producer <laughs> is through the podcast. Did he so. say he was fired from? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was these, all my friends were Puerto Rican, uh, black, Dominican. And then when I got to middle school, they all only hung out with them. Mm -hmm. So they all kind of like ditched me. I think they were just finding themselves or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I had like no friends for like seventh or eighth grade. And this one it's kid like was like. Fox and the Hound kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this one kid was like, you can hang out with me. This kid Lek. Yeah. And he just would wear a Confederate flag. <laughs> And I was like, I didn't really know what the flag meant because yeah. we're from he'd New wear, Jersey. He would wear the flag because that's wear it. it's actually disrespectful to wear the Confederate flag. <laughs> he would wear a hat it's with the flag. Disrespectful to the flag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't know like what that flag even meant. I just yeah. thought it was like Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. And then we were all hanging out. I'm like, ah, oh, this is my new friend. And then. <laughs> One day he spray painted a swastika in the hallway, and I was like, "Something he does." <laughs> and I was like, "I uh, like symbolism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's He's an Indian a thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is this is a Native Indian tribe. It's yoga. He must be into yoga." Yeah, yeah. And I was like, "I I gotta go with this kid." And then uh, he came in one day and coughed up blood. And was like, "Yeah, his dad punches him every day." Uh, it was like the like the most Jesus. brutal thing to hear in the yeah. world. And that's the thing too. It's like you're not a Nazi at that young. You're right. a fucked up kid. You're a yeah. kid who's just been poisoned. And so it's like, you know, you felt really, I did feel really bad for him. And, uh, you know, then I 
I just ditched him, but no, I didn't really ditch him. We kind of became other friends. Yeah, you fell asleep watching American History X and you missed the end of the movie. Where they tell you not to be like that. Yeah, Yeah. there are parts of Mein Kampf that just drones on. Tough to make it through. I think he just got expelled, to be honest. And I was like, thank God. Yeah, because I didn't need to go down that route. I'm sure. Because I was always like, I don't know, man. All my friends are Puerto Rican. You're the only one who's not. So I don't know what to do here. I feel like you went the total other side. <laughs> you were, like, I am friend. Most of my friends are Puerto Rican, and there's one white nationalist that kind of snuck in there <laughs> during a weird time. You are putting me in a rock and a hard place, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> That's so funny. Those kids look back. There were kids in middle school and high school where like they were taller and they like grew mustaches early and they yeah. like smoked and cursed all the time and like probably had sex and wore mm-hmm. puffy jackets that you would look <laughs> yep. like a fool in. But they, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. And then like, but you, you're like. Oh, that kid's cool. I'm like afraid of him. All the girls like him, but what what a terrible home life that kid. Yeah, obviously yeah. Had. They all had horrible home lives. Yeah, and but it sucks because it's like at that at that point you're like, I feel bad for you, but then when they get older, it's like, well, you're just too. You've just been built now, so yeah. now you're out there doing shit as an adult, yeah. and it's like ah, I can't like now you're just you're we can't fix you anymore. Yeah, you know it's like you've done too much bullshit. Mm-hmm. Well, you know. Imagine having liberal parents, you know, you end up doing improv <laughs> or something. Yeah, I, whenever I meet, like, older, you know, like, you go on the road and, like, uh, I think when we did Vermont and it was just, like, older liberal people, it just was never a demographic for me. No, me So neither. it's just, it's always, like, the idea of being raised by liberal parents, is, it's just so foreign. Even Emil's parents, who were Dominican, were, like, I fucking hate white people. Like, they were, like, conservative <laughs> yeah. Puerto Ricans. Right. And Dem- half Puerto Rican up in right. Dominican. And they but were there's, like. There's older liberals with money, and then there's older liberals who like hang out at the Cafe Wa open mic or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. So yeah. There's, there's two. There's that divide. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. you can be as like socially liberal as you want, but like if you have a certain amount of money, you're like, fuck giving people health care. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's, I have it. Why can't you? It's that whole thing that's happening in like San Francisco. How yeah. like the money is through the roof, and they're like, "Yeah, you're all liberals. How come all of you are like just like the homeless situation is out of control over there?" Yeah. And just like, I don't want to fucking my house prices. Well, I don't down. want them sneezing on me or. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Well, this is. Uh, I guess do we have to do we have to wrap up? Yeah, it's, it's your podcast. I don't know what you do. <laughs> no, I'm saying if you. Get I mean, I got batteries. Somewhere. Oh, what do you say? I can't. Already, you're you're a better producer than Matt. You know how many times you have to stop the show so he can replace the fucking batteries? You just plug it into the wall. Oh, you can? Yeah, it's a plug right here. It goes right into the fucking oh, thing. Cr- Why doesn't he know about that? <laughs> I swear to God, we, we stop it every episode at least twice to, so he can change the battery. No, you get the plug. You can even just, you can buy that. Uh, Jesus uh, fucking Radio Christ. Shack. This is, but the thing is, I'll never fire him because I'm too loyal. I'm loyal. <laughs> yeah, to that's fault, a problem. You know? Me too. Yeah, yeah. He's like uh-huh. my Jesse Pinkman. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he better not fuck up the edit of this. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Um. All right, boys. Plugs. Check out the Rad Dude Cast. Oh everybody. yeah. I mean, Greg and Anthony have, uh, or Greg and Brendan have. We probably do a lot of the same shows and everything, but. Yeah. It's a, it's a good show. You should check that out. Greg's been going. It's me, Anthony. And Brendan, we mm-hmm. do the Rad Dude cast. That's Please. all we really care about listening. Yeah. yeah. It's absurd. I Please guess. let us, you know, me and Anthony were talking about like podcasts are kind of like the last, bas- it's like our last holdout. You know? <laughs> yeah. We're like, yeah. Uh, what's like an army that, I don't know. It's like you imagine like an army who's getting their ass kicked. It's and the last like, rebel base. It's over. It's the Alamo. Yeah. 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 Podcast. <laughs> Mike, Alamo. Anthony, Craig, it's a, give it up. Someone's like coming to us in the rain. We're yeah. like, we like won't give up. We're like those Japanese guys that keep fighting World War II in like, in like 1974. Yeah. 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 Stop putting out content. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. over, yeah. guys. Ooh. They're, no. We're just done with it. <laughs> but, but the podcast. Yeah. It's the podcast. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Anthony's like, I never thought I'd be asking Luis J. Gomez for advice on how to make it yeah, in show business. But he's, but he's a fucking mogul. He's a fucking multimillionaire, that guy. And, you know, he's like the guy in the movie that you have to go to his his den of barbarians. <laughs> he's like, whoa, you have returned. <laughs> he's, wearing, he's wearing a necklace with like the teeth of comics who were rude to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. He does fight comedians in MMA fights now. He's he's f- other comics. First he fought of all, that guy. He was a comedian. Oh, really? He yeah. fought oh, that I guy that was from like LA. An MMA yeah. fighter. Dude, I, I have like. <laughs> oh. Uh. I have literally nothing but respect for Louis J. Gomez. I, you yeah. know, he's I like, like I, I love the guy, but uh, yeah. Um, 
he got he got into it with Metzger. It's on video because Metzger called him stupid or something. Uh-huh. Like, the look that Lewis was Lewis like gets up and like throws his drink and just like <laughs> just went into like beast mode. I'm like. Yeah, there's just certain things. <laughs> there's certain people you can't mouth yeah, off to. Yeah, Lewis yeah. has that combination of he's a big guy and yeah. he'll go to that place. Yeah, he yeah, might yeah. be the most dangerous person on planet Earth. <laughs> he might be. Yeah. <laughs> right. I can't think of anybody yeah. that I'm more yeah that I'm more afraid of in the world. Than <laughs> Lewis J. Gomez. That's funny. Right. Ariel Castro is dead. So the kid from Cuba. No. Yep, you got it right, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> it's as good as time. Uh, I think. Think it's- <laughs> Catch yep. that guy in Cleveland <laughs> that locked the women in his base. Who was the little boy? You're talking about Elian Gonzalez. <laughs> yes, Elian Gonzalez. Castro, oh, who's the leader almost, of Cuba. We almost and just, Elian Gonzalez is Cuban. We almost just <laughs> broke Greg's heart. <laughs> he was so invested in that story. And he thinks about Elian Gonzalez, or as he calls it, Ariel Castro, every other day. <laughs> I don't know why people are ragging on that poor kid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's kicking from his parents. Hey, you know who's dead is uh, Christine Cavanaugh, who was the voice of Chucky Finster and Babe, and she did a bunch of voices. For oh yeah, oh, okay. She voiced Oblina on Not Real Monsters. I didn't. I had no idea that's, that she passed away. She passed away in 2014. That's a fun new podcast you should do. You know who's dead? You know who's dead? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's not bad. All right. All right. Hey, right. plugs, Rad Dudecast, what else? Any, uh, your website, your Twitter? Yeah, you can follow my Instagram, Greg yeah. F. Stone. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Devo for Tivo. And just go to anthonydevitocomedy.com for there all like show dates and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, just check out our podcast. We'll that's all we care about. What about you, Mike? You and then, uh, it's the last, if you guys want to be Patreon subscribers, it's the last couple days to do that. Um, I always what? tell people it's very easy. Well, like, it pays at the beginning of every month. So if you get your payment oh, right, right. before the month, you know, we can get some extra. Oh. We can get some extra subscribers. And I always tell people, you know, if you want to come and go, if you want to give money for a little bit and then leave, you know, you don't have to give $5 a month for life. You can give it for a, a little bit <laughs> and then cancel. It's easy to cancel. But hopefully, you sign up and forget about it. Yeah, yeah, Hopefully, yeah. You, you use your mom's credit card to sign up. <laughs> then you die, and she doesn't realize for you know four or five years, and we're still getting that sweet, sweet fifteen dollars a month, baby. <laughs> yeah, best case scenario, you use your mom. You still use your mom's credit card, and you die. And you die. <laughs> All my listeners are scummy thirteen-year-olds. <laughs> Guys, go run. Don't walk to your mother's credit card. Punch those numbers in. And <laughs> hopefully pass away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, and the one girl who listens, uh, bye bye. <laughs>